All right, we're going to start a crash course of beginner to advance. This is going to be the beginning episode. This is going to be chapter one. This is going to go basically everything that I would teach if I was going to teach somebody starting fresh that didn't know how to cut hair at all. So chapter one is going to be everything about guards, guard numbers, what they mean, lever play and lever open and close. I'm about to go show you guys that right now. Uh, just walk through on the computer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you find this informational, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I'm going to try to stick to this within five to ten minutes. There's going to be very few editing. It's just going to be basic knowledge based. So this is going to be chapter one. After that, chapter two, I'll release another video based off of what I would do for my apprentice afterwards. All right, so let's go to the screen here. Basic premise I want to go over is guard numbers and what they mean, how to blend each guard to one another, and then also going to define what open and close means. So as we're taking a look at this, we see the guard uh, over here, this section over here, this is going to be the guard. This is going to be the right here is going to be the overall guard, bl um, the blade. It's going to be the guiding blade. And over here is going to be the cutting blade. So that's the top portion over here. And then in between that is going to be the cutting blade. So that's what's actually going to be cutting the hair. And whenever you're looking at that, it's going to be an open and close. And how we do that with the open and close is going to be basically this lever over here. Let me highlight this in red so that way you guys can get a big, better idea with it. So this right here is going to be what's going to be open and close. So what that means is that if we're going to flick the lever all the way to the left, it's going to be open. That's going to be having the cutting blade furthest the furthest away from the guide blade and then when we have it closed it's going to be having the cutting blade closest to it so basically this is going to be closest to it if it's closed this right here is going to be oh, furthest away if it's open so this is basically right here is going to define open jesus christ that was terrible that was a bad p that is going to be open and closed based on the lever if we push it left or if we push it right depending on the lever after that we want to go over exactly what does the numbers mean when we do open and closed so whenever we have it open so the cutting blade this is furthest away from this the guide blade it's going to be zero that's one single zero then if we were to put so that means that this would be over here the guide blade would be here then there's a middle section and this would be closed section right here that would be zero and between that in the middle section so this is all the way open in between that it would be three zero so three zero equals middle and then furthest away right here would be five zero. That's gonna be the furthest closest to the cutting blade. That is gonna be closed. Basically what that means, it's, it's going to take the most amount of hair off. So basically what it's gonna do is if we put it all the way down, it's gonna get us as close to skin without using trimmers or balders or razors. But we're not gonna get into that right away. We're only looking at open and closed. Now we wanna go into our numbers. And if you have, if I had to slow this down again, please leave it in the comment down below. I'm trying to get this off the top of my head as fast as possible. So that way it can be as clear and concise as possible. Now, if we were to slap on a guard, that's what these are is right here, okay? These are guards right here. That is a guard, this is a guard, and this is a guard. As you can see, by the numbers, we have a half, we have a one, and then we have a one and a half. So when that when we're using guards, it's basically going to uh, increase the millimeter of hair that's being cut off. So if we want to do uh, a baseline of a half, that means it's only going to cut around... If we're only going to do a half, it's only going to cut 1.5 millimeter of the hair. So you can't go any lower than that. You can't go down the skin. You can't go down to zero. You can't go down to triple zero and you can't go down to five zero. So you can't do any of these if we slap on a guard. How we interact with a guard is basically we want each of these to equal each other whenever we're doing a fade. I'm going to be going over the steps of how to do specific fades like tapers, 
burst feeds, skin feeds, and everything else like that later. But first, we're going to get to this and figure out exactly what the numbers equal and how we get them to equal each other. It's all going to have to do with this over here, the open, closed, and in between whenever it comes to fading. I also had to pay attention to the cutting blade here and then the guy blade here. We want That's the most important thing that we have to pay attention to, how it interacts with the guide, open and closed. So whenever we want to slap on a guard, how am I doing on time right here? All right, almost at five, we're at five minutes. When we're looking at guards and whenever we're slapping it on, we want to make sure that in order for us to get to the next step in our fading process, we always want to go higher. So the lower it is, that means that it's going to be closer to skin. The higher it is, that means the more hair it's going to have. Just based off of here, we have a 1.5, we have a 3, and then we have a 4.5. That's all the millimeters of hair it's going to take off. Anything less than that, you would have to go down in clipper guard, uh, in the guard. So if you wanted to go from a 1.5 and, and you see some spots that are a little bit too dark and you want to go lighter... You had to take off the one and a half and put it into the one. All right. So how do we make it so that way we're going to go from skin to actual hair whenever we're doing any type of fade? So it's going to be either a taper. It's either going to be a burst fade. It's either going to be a skin fade. It doesn't matter what kind of fade it is. We're trying to get one of these guards to connect to the skin. So basically you're going from no guard to guard. So basically what we want to do is we want to take a look at this. This is... Trip, uh, triple zero, uh, zero, and five zero. We're going to have to try to figure out how we get that from skin to an actual guard where the hair starts getting through a 1.5 or a 3 millimeter or 4.5 millimeter. We're going to try to figure out uh, the fading process to that. So if I'm coming over here and I put in my guidelines and here's open and here's closed. So this is closed. So it's going to be the uh, closest to skin. So this would be skin. This would be a little bit of hair. And that's just here, a little bit of hair. That's what the open is. From open, no guard, we would then close here like this. From open, no guard, we would put on a clipper onto this. Uh, we would put on a guard onto the clipper like this, and that clipper would be a half, a half closed. So that means the half would be this lever all the way over here. It's going to be to the closest of the guide blade. So this cutting blade is going to be closest to this guide blade with a guard on top of it. It's going to be half. Now, connecting this half into even more hair because we want a nice gradient, we would have to open it. So we would have to put it furthest away from the cutting blade. That's this guy right here, open. The lever all the way to the left like this, okay? And then from that, an open right here, this open would equal a closed one. These guys are equaling each other. So basically, whenever we're doing it is we're taking off the clipper, uh, we're taking off the blade, uh, the guard, and then we're putting on a one guard and making sure that that's closed. From there, if we wanted to go to even more hair, if you guys are going to see the basic premise, we would open it, the one, right? We would open it, create another guideline right here, open and close just like this. And then we would slap on a one and a half and close it. Now these guys are going to equal. So it's basically going from a half to a one to a one and a half. It's basically going from open to closed, open furthest away. So it's going to be the most amount of hair to closed, which is going to be the shortest amount of hair. Now say you wanted to go even further than that. Let's just say we wanted to go to a two guard. Basically, you're going to follow the same premise. It's going to go from closed and open. A open one and a half is going to equal a closed two. And if we wanted to do the same thing with a two to a three, let's go from two to a three. It's basically going to follow the same concept. We're going to go closed, open, open, closed. These are going to equal. The open two is going to equal the three closed. So that's my basic, basic understanding of guards. How we measure these guards 
is basically going to have a, if we're looking at, this is going a little bit further, I'm trying my best to make this a simple crash course and simple understanding of guards. But say we're looking at a person, right? This is the ear, this is the ear, this is the person's head, this is going to be the calic, and then right here would be the ridge. We're not going to touch the ridge. Again, I probably shouldn't be doing this because it's going a little bit further. I'm going to try my best. If I had to revisit this and make this even more and slow and understanding, I will. But say we're doing just a regular haircut from, uh, we'll go from half to one to one and a half. What you're going to want to do is this is going to be the one and a half. The very top portion would be the open because we would want to go into the ridge or if you wanted to slap on a number two. Then this section would be the closed because this section being the closed, that is going to be the one. The one open is going to equal the one and a half closed right here. So the one open is going to equal the one and a half closed like this. Then this is open. The top line is open. The bottom line would be closed. Since the bottom line is closed, we then go into the half because the top portion of the half would be open since that equals the one closed and from the half closed is if you wanted to go down and fade it. Holy shit, that was terrible handwriting. That is going to be closed. And then if you wanted to continue doing the skin, then we would go to skin. But we're not going to do that. This is going to stay as simple as possible. This is going to stay as... I'm trying to make this as uh, easy as possible without me actually being there and helping you with all the nuances and everything else that it goes in between. I just wanted to make a quick video of how this would go from basically not knowing anything to a quick guide of how things work in the barber world. We're going to do one more recap of this. Let me just increase this and just erase everything. I just want to do this as simple as possible when it comes to it right here. Again, this isn't edited, so I'm sorry if it's going back and forth. But so we have our lever. Let's just say this is the lever. We have going from left to right. This would be open. This would be closed because it's going to be putting our guide. It's going to be putting the cutting blade to the closest uh, of the guide blade. Open is cutting blade is furthest away from the guide blade like I showed you. And this would be mid. Now that's with no guard. That's with zero guards on it. That's what's going to get us to skin. All right. So now we have our no. Now we have our no guard. Now if we want to go from no guard to half, one and one and a half, we have to make sure that this is going to be closed, open, closed, open, closed, open. That's what each of these are going to equal. A half open so the blade is all the way to the left the guide is the cutting blade is furthest away from the uh, guide that is then going to put in we are then going to put in a one guard closed which is going to equal a half open then if we want to go to a one and a half you would have to put the one open so one furthest away slap on the one and a half guard put it closest and then that's going to equal each other out whenever you come into a fading process. Hopefully that was easy to understand. If it's not, please let me know. I will try to make it to where I actually have it in person and I can show you a little bit more. It's always going to be harder for me trying to show it to you in a video format rather than in person because I can't train everybody one to one. Um, but this is the basic premise of how I would get it done to a client, uh, not a client, to somebody that's trying to learn. Anybody that wanted to learn how to cut hair, I make sure that they understand this and for them to memorize it within a week. If they don't memorize it within a week, then I suggest them to take it a little bit slower and seeing if barbering is actually a correct path for them. Because if you understand these numbers and the fastest you understand these numbers, then we go into the next step of understanding haircuts, where to put them on specific, uh, people's heads, head shapes, bone structures, uh, different bone densities, different shadows and everything else like that. But this is the basic premise and basic guideline whenever we want to go figure out any type of numbers and exactly what they equal. Uh, yeah. Let me know if the video was good. If the video was not good, hopefully you guys can understand it. Hopefully I didn't go too fast. Again, I just wanted to get this as, um, quickly out to you guys as possible. Um, Yola, ho hopefully you understand this. Um, Juan, hopefully you understand this. Uh, yeah. 
Hopefully you guys understand this and hopefully I didn't mess up too much. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. See ya.